F9700 Quinry, the latest technology in searching and detection systems of gold, treasures, and groundwater with six different detection systems. We will provide you a detailed explanation of this device and how to use it. The main unit consists of power on off button, move, enter, back, TFT LCD screen, and from the side and back interface, geophysical system probes plug, headphones output plug, ground scanner plug, ground radar sensor plug, charging plug, wireless communication antenna plug, Start operating. Press and hold on the power button. The boot screen will appear containing the device name and the manufacturer brand. Then the language selection screen will appear, which includes the languages supplied in the device, and the customer can request us the language they want. Press enter to choose the appropriate language. Then the system will move to the main menu, which includes the search icon and the settings icon. Device general settings include Control by level of screen brightness Control by the sound level Control of the device mind language Then go back to the main menu and select the search system icon which includes long-range search system, geophysical search system, ground sensor search system, ionic search system, ground scan system, long-range search system. It includes two different systems, the line tracker system and the handheld LRL system. Choose if you want firstly a line tracker system. Let's get to know it. First, connect the wireless connection antenna for transmit data. Then, connect the ground transmitter unit and implement it in the soil, which is it responsible to the transmission of electrofrequency waves from the device towards the ground layers. This system consists of receiving antennas, connection wires, the receiver device. Second, Turn on the receiver and then go to the main unit to select the search parameters. First, target. This system includes the searching for these elements gold, gold ore, silver, bronze, copper, iron, caves and ground water. Choose one target. Second, select the search distance which reaches to 2000 meter. Third, select the search depth which is up to 70 meters. Finally, click on start search to start the system insertion and to connect with the receiver where the color of the status lead will change from red to green how to use the line tracker system
choose the line tracker system from the main unit and assemble the contents of the system as we saw earlier. Then install the receiver and the belt or put it in the pocket. Hold the antennas like horizontally maintaining their balance and spacing between it about 30 cm. Then start walking circularly around the field of the ground transmitter unit that planted on the ground. Stop at the intersection of the antennas, then move away and change the direction of walking to make sure of the cross point. represents the energy line connecting to the target. Follow this line by walking a zigzag way. The antennas open and diverge when be outside of the power line field and intersect completely when passing over the power again. Continue as this way to track the power line to reach the target location. Until the intersection of the antennas stop and turn back and this indicates that the target location has been exceeded, indicating that the target is exist between the last antennas across point and turn back point. LRL search system. This system consists of transceiver antenna and L LRL unit. Grip handle first. Turn on the LRL unit. Then go to the main unit and choose the search criteria of this system. Then press start, search to be connected between the main unit and the LRL unit. When we'll notice the color of the status lead will change from the red to green. Can be changed the target type through the main unit or through the LRL unit. The LRL unit also contains a laser to determine the target direction at night. How to use the handheld LRL system. After assembling the system, hold the device through the grip, then calibrate the device with the soil by pointing it toward the ground and moving it left and right and then stimulate the device waves by directing it horizontally. Hence, walk around the field of ground transmitter unit to start receive readings by the device through turning towards of the target location. By this way, and with more than one reading, then progress toward the target according to the direction of the antenna in a zigzag or straight way. Until reach a point that the device turned back way. That means exceeded of the target location. Head back and then walk slowly. until the device turns back again. Move in this direction until the device starts to turn right and left. That indicates that the existence point of the target just below it. You 
Physical Search System. First, plant the props in the soil within the site range that expected the target to be in. Then, connect it to the main unit by connection wires in equal dimensions between the props. Click Enter to display a message stating some recommendation for a successful scan. Choose the type of targets to search for metal, water or voids. Click on Enter and the device will start searching between props. If the connection between the props is not good or is faulty, a message will appear to make sure that the electrodes are connected properly. Then the device continues scanning and searching and will notice that it searches through the props connection points according to the connection props numbers. After the device has completed this stage and identifies the target within the survey area. message will appear asking for identification of the two props in which the target was found. Between it and there may be more than one type of target. Reduce the distance between the props toward those props that you have chosen to the nearest distance which is within 5 meters. After confining the target location, an automatic message will appear if you want to specify the target depth. Press enter and the message appears stating that the device will determine the depth of the target, that is, by using the two props, number 1 and number 2, with a distance from the target's location with a distance starting at 45 meters. Press enter and then determine the distance between the two props and do so gradually by reducing the distance to 3 meters and then the device appears dipped automatically and accurately. to use the geophysical system. Connect the props to the main unit by wires, as we saw earlier. You can use distance measuring devices so that the distance is equal between the props. Make sure the props are well laid with soil. And then perform the search as we saw in the previous example. Sensor system. 
when entering to the system. A message appears on the screen stating that the sensor must be connected to the main unit. Therefore, the sensor must be connected to the device. Direct the sensor towards the soil vertically and then press the button above the sensor to start the calibration process with the ground. Then move slowly and start searching for the targets, metal or voids. Throw indicators on the screen and throw sound alerts accompanying with an oscilloscope indicating the size and the location of the target. Ionic Search System Ionic system consists of the ionic verification unit and the ion sensor. The ionic verification unit consists of power button, volume control button, calibration button, night light button, lead indicators, battery indicator. Turn on the ionic unit by power button, then go to the main unit Choose the Ionic system and select the target want to search for. From the targets list, we'll notice the indicator light in the Ionic unit continues flashing until to press start search in the main unit to the connection between both units and the lead indicator will be stopped flashing. Lead and acoustic indicators express the location of the target and how it's far of the device location. When there is noise in the search area, you can use the calibration key to calibrate the device with the soil and its sensitivity level according of searching area. When press and hold on the volume button, the vibration feature can be turned on or off. How to use the Ionic system? Hold the device, then calibrate the device with the soil by calibration button. If need, walk and direct the device horizontally towards potential targets. And if the device senses a target, lower gradually the device towards the ground to locate the target exactly. Well, notice the acoustic and lead indicators will gradually increase when closer of the target point. How to use the depth of the target by Ionic system? The user should stand above the target point and the device must be oriented vertically. Then walk from the target point to another direction. You will notice the indicators gradually decrease until stop. Then measure by meter from the last sense point to the target's point and the result are the depth of the target. Ground Scan Search System Connect the ground sensor to the main unit and hold the sensor vertically towards the soil. Select the search criteria in the main unit. First, select the size of the search. Second, choose the path of search direction, zigzag or straight. Third, Choose the search mode automatic or manual. Fourth, select the search direction. Then click start search. Start the search in this apparent way depending on the colors shown in the squares, which means green, normal ground, red, precious buried metals. Yellow, non-precious metal minerals. Blue, voids and caves. Ground scanning is done by ticking a scan point every 20 cm, depending on the size of search grid that previously chosen, until finish scanning the area to be checked. Important note, 
When scanning the area, the direction of the sensor must be preserved and its direction should not be changed, meaning it should not be turned left or right. Thank you for your kind attention.